What's going on guys? It's Roy. Um, you know me, going back for another video. Today I want to just do a, a quick update on what's happening with um, obviously my Red Ripper, as we call it. It's right here, the Ryzen Red Ripper. So, so far parts we've got are pretty minor, but this month I'm hoping to buy a case and power supply just to get those two bits out of the way. And then follow month, RAM, heat slump, whatever liquid cooler or air cooler I might be going, either one. And then a couple of months after that with storage and well four terabytes of storage I think can have four terabytes of storage and Windows 10 Pro and or whatever RTX 2080 whatever I have. But it will have an RTX series card in here. And the parts I've gone for, I want to just quickly show you so you can, guys, you can get a rough idea what I'm using. So I'm using in Kingston 120 gig SSD for my boot drive. This thing here is quite remarkable. This is a wireless adapter from, as you can see, HP Link. HP Link. And the uh, CPU I went for is a here. Yeah, the CPU I went for is a Ryzen um, 12 core. No, it's a 12 core Ryzen Fabric. I've already opened it, so yeah. Apart from that, and I went for a um, Aorus Pro gaming motherboard because um, I didn't want to spend a crap load of money on a motherboard. And I hate to say this to you guys, but anyone who spends more on their motherboards are ridiculously stupid. That's the nicest way I can say it. You're stupid. Or just, not you're stupid, just mental. Um, because this is going to be a, me, a mid-tower form factor PC. So it will live, it should live just under here. And then I'll be upgrading my monitor at Christmas time. So you'll get the idea at the minute. But... Uh, the moment over here, I have a MacBook Pro set up and a Mac Mini set up to this one monitor. And then my gaming screen is here. I'm still justifying, do I just go out and buy another big 30 inch, 34 inch TV and game off that? Because to be honest, I'm not, going, I'm not even going to lie guys. Gaming off a TV is so much better than the gaming monitor. Cheaper. A little bit more cheaper to certain levels and there's a little bit of drawback there's one couple like six millisecond delay which is not that bad um but yeah i just wanted to update you guys on why i haven't been uploading much as i used to be because currently i'm not living at my dad's house anymore so i've moved out well i haven't moved out but i am on the, the bridge of moving out quite soonly um that's the reason I haven't been making a lot of YouTube videos um, recently and I have got depression so if I don't upload loads of my, uh, videos that's probably because I am depressed probably but going to your phones but coming up off to the sad side of the story I just wanted to update you on what phone I'm using so at the moment currently using the Samsung Galaxy well it was using Samsung Galaxy still paying for that phone that's been a month, years, waiting for that phone to be done with. I'm still paying for it until September. This phone's got five months left. I currently haven't got it. It's in the repair shop because I updated to the latest iOS and it just completely bricked my phone, which I'm currently um, going to be reporting it to Apple because the latest firmware, if any of you are watching this video right now and thinking, oh crap, I've just updated to the latest iOS, or the latest firmware, or you know the latest update. You can go back. There is a way of doing it. You can go and put your phone into IPSW, which is you hold the lock button and the power up button on the iPhone 10 and whatever the 10 Max um, to do it. But I can always make a video if you want me to. But leave it in the comments down below if you would like to know how to do that. Go back to a previous generation of iOS. Back to this though, so, um, as you can see you've got a shitload of consoles, 
Not only that, there's some there, and there is actually some hiding under here. I have just picked up a recently a PS3 and a 360 and a original Xbox because I don't know. I just want when I get bored, guys. It's best to not spend loads of money on a games console. Just go out and buy an old games console, pull it apart, put it all back together, and see how it work, works. That's what I do. I just like to pull things apart and put them back together. That's just what I am. I'm just bored at the moment recently. I'm bored. Still bored right now. Um, but, because once this thing, guys, if you want to get into the enthusiast workstation grade kind of gaming machine, as we will, you're going to need to spend at least £2,000. And currently, this is standing at 1300 Well, nearly about 2000 nearly. So once that stands at 2000 I will stop. I'm not going over 3000 That As my other friend, you know, my mate, you probably don't know, but he is just going all out on his storage, his graphics card. His motherboard cost him about 400 His pre CPU cost him 400 I only paid a share of 300 for my CPU, 280 for my motherboard, 20 quid for my SSD. Got that for free for my old PC that, that broke. So... Yeah, I'm quite lucky actually with some of my parts. Um, but apart from that, um, just wanted to update you and hope you guys are enjoying this video and hope you are hyped for it. And when it is built, I will do a full in-depth of the tour on my full build and the insides of it. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy. Like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Adiós.